So the Pocket 6K has an EF mount on it, which is why Black Magic is laughing all the way to the bank. You are now tuned in to the big boy Shaoba McCoy, and today we're gonna to kick it about how Black Magic 6K EF mount is the biggest camera joke of the year. But before we get into it, hit those like, subscribe, and notification buttons. They got Maddie. They probably got his brother too. A few others are going to fall and get got. Maybe even Peter. And you can't blame none of them. Cannon betrayed all of them a long time ago. Black Magic is trying to be all them dudes that love Cannon's rebound chick. Let me explain. See, all them dudes were being cheated on by Canon with the inability to give them a real handheld 4K camera solution. Canon kept on giving them cameras that were basically retarded while they went on to romance their dreams about spending time with Red and Ari users. Just look at the specs on that Cripple 90D that's about to drop. All those loyal Canon dudes were getting tired of framing their shots up like this, then having to step back like two blocks because the 4K crop on the Canon was looking like this. Maddie and all them dudes can't talk bad about Canon. You don't think Peter can just walk up in Canon Canada like it's nothing? Security be like, hey, what up, Peter? How's the family? Real talk. Peter probably got his own parking space. All them dudes are like, Canon, you don't love me no more. So I'm gonna put my fingers in that pocket 6K EF mount and by all rights they should. But it's a big mistake. See, I did a little thinking on that black magic EF mount. That mount was looking like a big juicy salmon on a bear trap for all those Canon users. All them hungry grizzlies can't help themselves. Even if they know the pocket 6K is dangerous, they're going for the bait anyway. And more about to get seduced by black magic. They got Rubidium thinking the Black Magic 6K is going to be the offspring he's been waiting for for his C200B. He's talking about cheating on Canon too. And some of you might have missed it, but Potato Jet is about to get in bed with Black Magic too. He had a picture of the Pocket 6K on the table next to his red camera when he was reviewing the Edochrome slider. Freaky. All these dudes got a bunch of EF lenses with no good holes to stick them in. So they're ready to run up in the next hole that's looking a little bit decent, no matter what kind of infestations could be lurking in it. Now here's the joke. Yes, yes, the EF mount was a good choice for the Pocket 6K. In fact, it was the best thing I got going for it. We all got a ton of EF lenses. I'm pushing about eight of them myself. Oh, and if you guys thinking the 6K is the best on that camera, I'm gonna tell you about that next. Let's get back to the EF mount. Canon let Black Magic rock with the EF mount, figuring they can pimp it out and cash in on their hard work. They're not really even using it anymore. They had it already. They gave Black Magic their bottom chick and kept the ESOR mount for themselves. Black Magic is just helping them clear out the millions of EF mount lenses they still got on shelves and in their warehouse. Don't tell me you didn't notice Sigma stopped making EF mount lenses. Facts. And now, you might not believe me, and that's cool. Leave it in the comments. But Red is about to drop their Komodo camera with the ESR mount. Where you can use ND filters and still use your EF lenses. It's dropping like the end of the year. The mount was teased by Red hours after the Pocket 6K was announced. The big man dropped back to back videos. One about the Pocket 6K and the other about an exclusive announcement coming from Red. So let me ask you a question. Would you rather pay $2,500 for an EF mount and a B-roll camera that can only be edited on one NLE or pay approximately $5,000 for a camera that's going to be more universal with a more flexible mount. I know what I would do. Red, I need that camera. 